if you've been watching any of my videos for a while, you know that one of my favorite products for makeup is my Pixie by Petra under eye corrector. It's a peachy corrector. It comes in two different shades. I wear the lighter shade because I have, I have some darkness under my eyes, but I also have tear troughs. So I've made maybe three videos on how I cover my tear troughs so that you don't see that indentation when you look at me. I'm 64 years old now. So let's get into another product. And this is by Dermatology. Now, this one is brand new and they call it their Luminous Eye Corrector and it has SPF in it. It has zinc oxide and titanium, titanium dioxide, SPF 41. Now, they call it Luminous. I wear it under makeup. That's what it's supposed to be. It says right on their website, this is not a concealer that you put on top of your foundation. This is an under eye corrector. They also suggest that you put it you know, on the lid all the way up to the brow. I don't do that. So I get a little bit of foundation on my skin from that. But I am going to do, in this video, I'm going to do one of the, the dermatology under this eye. So on your, I think that's going to be on your right, it's on my left. And I'm going to do the pixie under the other eye. And we're going to see how they apply. We'll see how they look during the day as well. Everything I'm talking about, all the products, everything I show you, plus all the rest of the makeup I'm wearing is listed and linked in the description box below the video. To get the description box on a phone or tablet, go below the video, you'll see the word more. Tap that word more, that old description box a little bit, then you have to tap the word more a second time and the description box opens completely. Scroll down to the section called product shown or mentioned. Everything will be listed and linked there and below that, what else I'm wearing. Now, to make it easier, I'm also going to list and link everything in the first comment. So a little trick here on a phone than on a computer. On a phone, you look for that first comment and tap it, and that opens the first comment completely, and then scroll through and everything will be there. Now I want to look at on their website because you know dermatology is not really a makeup company it's everything else they sell is all skincare plus their tinted sunscreen so that's the only thing that's a little bit makeupy so this is the first thing they've come out with that's more makeup so let's look at what they have to say on their website about this product Starting with the second sentence in their text, I want to read what it says here. Powerhouse anti-aging ingredients like peptides, snow mushroom, and ceramides hydrate and firm the look of five lines. Peach undertones in four different shades cancel out common bluish under eye tones. General mineral sunscreen ingredients provide broad spectrum protection and prevent further sun damage around the delicate eye area. Now, the other thing that they say down here and how it differs from a concealer is that it doesn't settle into fine lines, no cakey under eyes. So let's give it a test. My face is freshly washed. I put on all my skincare products earlier. My hair was just dried, so it's not curled yet. So let's get all the hair out of my face. So I'm going to do the Pixie by Petra on this side, which is my right and your left. And I apply this corrector with an e.l.f. brush. I like to get it in the inner corner. It just neutralizes that bluish purple and the tear trough for me. Some of you might have puffy eyes and this can work for that as well. Now I'm ready for the dermatology corrector and of my three colors which are fair is the lightest one I have, medium, and then tan. They didn't send me the dark which is on the website so you can see how dark it is but if you have dark skin that one would be awesome so because i like my corrector to have an orangey color to it i'm going to go with the medium and it comes in this little pump let's see if i clean it off 
So I've been testing it on my arm for the swatch. I'm going to pop a little bit out. You see it comes out in that little spreader. Oh, that's way too much. So I'm just going to touch it on here and gently apply it. Actually, when I've taken, when I've done this before, as I was experiment, oh yeah, see, that's way too much. I couldn't see how much was pumping out. That's why you want to look at it, not hold it up in front of a camera when you're dispensing it so you know how much is coming out because you don't need that much. And you can bring it down into the area below if you want. I have a tissue here to clean out the extra. Okay, so that's how that one looks. Very easy to spread. You can do it with your finger. And like I've said before, a lot of people, a lot of my viewers don't like the Pixie by Petra because it's really, really thick. But I want you to see how this looks with some of my other makeup on as I put it on. So I'm going to put on some foundation and I'm going to use the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Typically one pump is all I need of this as long as I smear it around and then use my damp beauty blender and after that use a flat brush. And this one works really well in the areas where I have the bigger pores. I have a lot of foundations that work really well in the bigger pores that are full coverage and this one definitely is. So first I like to Smear it around in the hard to get to spot. I like to tap it over that eye area. I don't like, I don't want, people have said don't put foundation over that. That's ridiculous. I want one color on my face. I don't want orange under my eyes. You know, go from raccoon eyes to orange under my eyes. Now I have a beauty blender that I've already run under water. I squeezed it out. I rolled it under a towel. And now I'm going to use that all around my face. And I pay close attention with a 10x mirror to see the pores to make sure it covers nicely. Now I'll check with my 10 time magnification mirror just to check that I got the spots really well and it does look good. Now I'm going to take this flat stipple brush from e.l.f. and I'll just buff it out. Next, I used to not use a concealer under my eyes to brighten that other eye area, but I found some that I like, including the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy, and this is in the color 20B. And this one I like, but it's the Damp Beauty Blender that makes a difference. So I'm just gonna touch on that area a little bit and in the inner corner. And go over it with the Beauty Blender. Okay, now I'm not done with that area. You know, when we get older, the trick is when we're wearing makeup, we want it to last all day. So I do have a setting technique for that. And I'm also using that same te setting technique for the areas where I have these large pores and it's working really, really well as the day goes on. And I'll have some pictures that we'll take um, you know, midday and early evening of my face and especially my eyes. So the trick involves um, a makeup setting spray and a translucent finishing powder and a small fluffy brush. So what I'm going to do is spray the back of my hand with the spray, use my finger, bottle fell over, and I'm just going to lightly 
dab some of that setting spray under my eyes until it's almost dry. And a little bit more on the sides of my nose where I have large pores and even under my chin I do. Then I will take this powder. This is one from NYX and a little bit of this. Tap it off and then very lightly go over that spot where I put the spray. And I will tell you, you know, not bad for a 64-year-old woman, right? I mean, look at my under eyes. I don't have my makeup on yet, but, um, and I'm just out of the shower, so my eyes are still a little bloodshot. But I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Here we are close up. So, I don't know. I'm looking at my monitor. I'm looking at a mirror. I think that both of them look really comparable. This one is the Pixie on your left, and this one is the Dermatology Corrector on your right. So what I wanna look at next is how these are performing later in the day, mid-afternoon and early evening. Let's look at those photographs next. Starting off with how I looked in the morning with a close-up, it's still looking pretty good. And both sides, I think, look the same. The second check was mid-afternoon around 3 o'clock. And still, I think it doesn't look too bad now that I see the photographs. And I still think both products look very similar. The evening check was around 7 p.m., 7.30. And again, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty good. And I think both of these products are very comparable to one another. I have to say, I'm impressed. So if any of you have not really liked the thickness of the Pixie by Petra under eye corrector, these correctors by Dermatology could be something that work really well for you. Now, some of the reviews, women have said they only use a tinted sunscreen. They don't use foundation. They don't use BB cream. And they'll use this underneath the tinted sunscreen, and it just creates a really nice look. Maybe some of that luminosity shows up underneath. I don't know. I haven't seen a whole lot of luminosity, but I do love that it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide for that SPF 41. So, hey, any little bit of extra SPF, sun protection factor that we can get under our eyes is fantastic. So make sure you go to the description box or the first comment. Like I said earlier, the link there will automatically put my discount code for you to give you 20% off anything you buy from dermatology. Make sure you check out some of my other reviews because they are great skincare brands. So many wonderful things they sell that I've tried. And a couple of those will be listed and all you have to do is tap the image on the right side of your screen or i'll have more of those video reviews listed in the description box and in cards and i'll see you in the next video